Hi, my name is Jenna Bass. Um, I'm a filmmaker that lives in South Africa, um, and I'm the director and producer of a film called High Fantasy, um, and also some films called Flatland and Love the One You Love. And these are all movies that deal with genre in some way or play around with it, the idea. Um, Love the One You Love being a rom-com of sorts, a really weird rom-com. Uh, Flatland is a Western, and High Fantasy is a body swap comedy. So I really love genre films, um, and for a while I remember that kind of being seen, like looked down upon as like a lesser kind of cinema. Um, but I became really interested in genre, and particularly the genre films that came from other parts of the world outside of America, which is always the most famous place to produce them. But the ideas around genre in themselves, and the ideas that form genre in the first place, I would definitely not call American inventions. Like I just can't believe that horror is something that's exclusive to the US and likewise romance and comedy and science fiction. Uh, these are not American ideas, these are human ideas um, and I think they become very interesting um, as a way to not only to explore the world around us but as a way to open up worlds that are different um, to other people in ways that might make them slightly more familiar or accessible to them. Look at those land bruh. All this Land disgust me a little belongs bit. to one white man. How? Lexi's houseway. Houseway. All white this land belongs to one man. man. And then because a genre is always associated with entertainment, um, I love to use genre as a way to hide more serious issues in my films that might otherwise not be so readily engaged with by an audience who's looking to have you know, a good time at the cinema. Um, and don't get me wrong, um, I really do like to think of my films as entertainment. In fact, um, if that turned out not to be the case, I'd be very upset. Um, but I, I see film as having these kind of dual responsibilities of entertaining people and also to make them, them think about the world around them and how it could be a better place. Um, and to be critical of it. So genre is sometimes a way to challenge the expectations that we have, not just about cinema, but also about the world that we live in. You know there's a pill for men now? Mm. Oh really? Mm. To do what? It's like a pill for men. Get the fuck out of here. So I can smash a bitch and she won't get pregnant. Dude, you can't say that. What? You can't say smash. And you definitely can't say smash a bitch. What are you talking about? What? So your dad just smashed your mom, huh? Nah, nah, it's not like that. Just smashed her hard, huh? And your mother's the bitch that your father smashed. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I mean. We're all adults here, man. Okay, and because we're adults, it means we must use phrases like smash a bitch. High Fantasy is a movie shot on a cell phone about a group of um, young South African friends who go on a camping trip to the Northern Cape. Um, and while they're away, uh, they wake up to find that they have swapped bodies. Um, and it came about as a result of watching a lot of body swap comedies and feeling like they all ended the same way, where everybody understood each other as a result of this miracle. So High Fantasy was kind of going to re-examine that assumption that um, once we've waved a magic wand, um, we can all understand each other and live better lives in the Rainbow Nation. The body swap genre also just turned out to be a really great way of simplifying what was otherwise a very uh, complicated issue. Um, the way in which that in South Africa and also in the rest of the world, so much about our lives is determined by the body that we're born into and what that symbolizes, whether in terms of race, class, gender, um, sexuality, etc. Um, and these very complicated intersectionality politics um, uh, were something that the body swap genre could somehow make make um, far more engaging and um, accessible to an audience who otherwise might think that these things are too heavy to think about. And I just found that really exciting as it really spoke to the way that I really want to make a film that's both entertaining and thought provoking at the same time. And I really don't believe that we have to choose between these things. I think that um, film, can do, film is such a powerful medium that it can do both.